welcome in this video lecture i am going to solve the transportation problem using the r programming language so let's first of all discuss how we can formulate this transportation problem as a linear programming model so for that i am taking the problem of power co formulation so where we have three electric power plants that can supply to four cities okay so which mean the power plant has some capacity whereas the four cities has some demand so for that they have given us the table which is this one where we have mentioning that from plant 1 if we are uh, providing the supply of the electricity so uh, per kilowatt how much cost we are going to bear which is 8 dollar similarly from plant 1 to city 2 what's the cost and then from plant 1 to ct3 and so on so this is basically a cost matrix they have given us right that is this one this is basically you can say the capacity of the plant this is the capacity of plant 2 this is capacity of plant 3 that how much uh, kilowatt electricity that particular plant can supply or that plant can produce similarly we have city wise demand in terms of kilowatt okay no first of all we have to formulate this problem so that means the ultimate task is we want to minimize the total transportation cost okay so for that our objective function will be to minimize it okay so in order to minimize the total transportation cost the decision variable would be, would be xij okay where i is representing the plant okay from plant 1 2 and 3 where j is representing basically the city okay so how much kilowatt of electricity we are sending from plant 1 or you can say from plant i to city j so first of all the objective function is that is the total shipping cost or you can say the total transportation cost which we want to minimize that is basically 8 a, 8 ax uh, x1 that is 8 is the per unit cost x11 is basically representing the number of kilowatt produced at plant 1 and sent to city 1 is similarly we have 6 that is uh, the per unit cost okay that is the transportation cost that is the number of kilowatt we are sending from plant 1 to city 2 and so on okay so this is the objective function which we want to minimize so then we have three capacity constraints with respect to the plant that is basically this one okay and uh, similarly we have the demand constraint that is basically the four demand constraint is this one so the complete model is over here okay that is this one right this is a supply and this is a demand constraint so this is the graphical representation this is indicating from plant 1 how much uh, kilowatt at the electricity we can send or we can supply okay that is basically the capacity of plant 1 2 and 3 so this is the demand of city 1 2 and 3 and x11 or you can say xij is basically indicating the amount of electricity uh, in terms of kilowatt we are sending from plant 1 to city 1 2 3 and 4 and so on so let's solve this particular problem with the help of r programming language so this is the important table so first of all i am going to use a package called as lp solve so let me increase the size of uh, this one that is how we can do that is this way okay <clears throat> okay so first of all i need to call a package called lp solve okay and then i am basically developing a cost matrix okay so that is a cost variable in which i am storing a per unit cost from plant 1 to city 1 that is basically this cost matrix okay so that mean we have three plants okay and we have four cities so that's why i am indicating all the per unit cost row wise which is basically first of all i have written down 8 6 10 9 9 12 12 and so on so this is the cost and i am indicating the number of columns that is basically the number of columns are 
okay and then i am indicating i have written down these values by row wise that's why i'm writing down row is equal to true okay because it will consider 8 the first then 6 then 10 and so on so in using the matrix uh, data type so we are going to or we have created a matrix type and then we are going to store in a cost variable okay as you can see that basically this is eight that is basically from plant one to city one from plant one to city two and so on then we have to set up the constraints so this is basically the per unit cost matrix now we are indicating uh, or you can say we are setting up the constraints so from the plant we must want to see say that the plant cannot uh, supply more than 35 so you can say that is a capacity constraint which should be less than or equal to because we have three plants so that's why we are saying using the function repeat repeat these three uh, these um, this symbol three times so we are writing down this one and then we are mentioning the capacity of all three uh, plants which is 35 50 and 40 so if i run this one that is basically that we have stored the capacity similarly we have four cities and we want that the demand must be greater than or equal to okay so that's why i'm using greater than or equal to sign and then the demand of four cities okay so once we have set up the per unit cost we have set up the constraints now we can solve the model using a function called lp dot transport okay from this package lp solve then i am mentioning a cost matrix which is this way in this particular variable i want to minimize it okay this transportation cost and then i am mentioning the sign of the constraints that is plant sign okay that is in this variable which is less than or equal to then i am mentioning the capacity of the plant city sign that the city of the demand okay and then we are storing into the variable called lp trunks so if i run it so with the help of this one we are able to solve the problem so in order to check the status so i can write down lp trans dollar sign and then i can mention the status so if i run it so it will show me zero that means the lp solve able to solve the problem optimally now in order to get the solution we can write down lp solve dollar solution okay so it will show us the uh, solution of the variables that is indicating how much quantity uh, we are sending from plant 1 to city 1 so right now it is indicating the x12 is equal to 10 that means we are sending 10 kilowatt from plant 1 to city 2 25 kilowatt we are sending from plant 1 to city 3 okay so zero is indicating we are sending nothing from that city to that or that plant to that city okay so this is the optimum answer in terms of x11 or x12 in order to get the total transportation cost we can use lp trans dollar objective function okay that would be this one so the total transportation cost we are going to bear is 1020 dollar so if we can see the answer of this problem that is this one so the answer of the objective function is 1020 which is this one and the answer of x12 is 10 which means uh, we are sending from uh, plant 1 to city 2 the 10 kilowatt then we have x13 is 25 so this is 25 okay and so on so i hope you got the idea how we can solve the transportation problem using the R programming language. Thank you so much.